The Hollywood Christmas Parade is a staple holiday event that has been taking place for almost 100 years. It features dazzling floats, performances from musical artists, and appearances from many famous Hollywood celebrities. This year was set to mark Meghan's debut in the parade, as she now lives in the Los Angeles area with husband Prince Harry and their two children. However, it seems Meghan got a bit ahead of herself with her request for the event. Sources say that in her discussions with the parade organizers, Meghan asked if a talent agency WME could lease billboard space along the parade route so her face would be prominently featured. She reportedly wanted large portraits of herself lining the streets as the parade went by. Organizers were taken aback by this demand, as no individual participant has ever had such a prominent promotional placement for the parade before. It's meant to showcase various parts of the film, television, and music industries as a whole, not function as a vehicle for any single star's personal branding. Megan was told billboards would not be made available solely for photographs of her. But Megan didn't take no for an answer. Insiders say she doubled down and told organizers they weren't understanding how big of a draw her appearance alone would be, and that having her image everywhere would definitely drive more viewership and attention to the parade. When parade officials still refused, Megan allegedly became quite upset and abrasive with them over the phone. This led the Hollywood Christmas Parade Committee to make the difficult decision to pull Megan from participating altogether. They felt her demands were inappropriate and uncollaborative for an event meant to celebrate the holiday spirit and bring joy to families. The guidelines are that all participants equally help promote the parade as a whole versus promoting themselves. Word of Megan's ban quickly spread through Hollywood. Many were not shocked by the behavior. As those who have worked with Megan in the past say, she often has an inflated ego and sense of self-importance. But others felt the parade organizers may have overreacted a bit and could have simply said no to the billboard plan instead of removing her participation entirely. After news broke, Megan's team attempted damage control. A statement was released claiming she had been misunderstood and only wanted to maximize exposure for the parade. However, Sources maintain Megan was insistent about solely touting herself and didn't seem interested in collaborative promotion. Either way, the ban remains in place as the committee says they must consider her previous conduct. Interestingly, Megan's sister-in-law Kate Middleton has participated in several Christmas parades and events in the UK over the years with no such issues. She understands her role is to represent the monarchy and bring attention to the overall occasion, not use the platform purely for self-promotion. Megan on the other hand, seems to still struggle with that balance as a senior royal turned civilian. Many also point out the difference between how Meghan has conducted herself publicly versus her husband Prince Harry. Since moving to California, Harry has taken a quieter approach and focused on his environmental and mental health initiatives versus putting himself in the constant spotlight. He apparently understands the difference between charitable work and self-promotion better than his wife. This banning is just the latest controversy surrounding Meghan. She's faced criticism over alleged bullying of royal staff, leaked letters to her estranged father, constant privacy complaints despite doing high-profile interviews, and using royal titles for commercial gain after leaving the monarchy. Even beloved actress Jessica Mulroney spoke out about their now-ended friendship bitterly. At this rate, some wonder if Meghan may face rejection from other Hollywood opportunities if she maintains this entitled attitude and aggressive approach to get her way. Beyond the parade ban, She's also reportedly facing tensions with her talent agency WME over their perceived lack of success landing her major media deals as promised. In the cutthroat industry, ego alone won't get you far. Though few expected Meghan would fully embrace a quiet post-royal life, this parade debacle suggests she still has much to learn about collaboration, compromise, and understanding her place versus assuming prominence because of her royal titles. Unless a change in behavior and mindset occurs, it could seriously damage career prospects going forward that rely on positive relationships and reputation within the business. As the holiday season kicks off, Megan is evidently learning she can't make unreasonable demands or force everyone to play by her rules just because of her celebrity status. The committee's swift action in barring her participation sends a strong message about appropriate protocols versus self-aggrandizement. Whether Megan can adapt her approach or maintain this bullish attitude remains to be seen. For now, the Hollywood Christmas Parade will go on without her this year. In conclusion, this banning from the parade exemplifies the challenges Meghan continues to face in forging new relationships and partnerships outside the framework of the monarchy. Old habits from before she married Harry appear hard to break, 
such as assuming prominence rather than seeing herself as just one colleague among peers. If she wishes to truly settle into post-royal life in Hollywood, she'll need to soften this imperious edge and develop a spirit of cooperation instead of constant demands for spotlight and acclaim. With some self-reflection and adjustment, the future need not be defined by further rejection. But for now, the parade lights will shine on without Meghan Markle this Christmas.